Next question is from that guy, KC. How do you improve grip strength? Oh, oh Justin, I, Justin and I aren't grip. qualified to answer yeah. this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody had a second pass at it, uh, which was interesting. Too. No, was, <laughs> I didn't have a second. It was one time. <laughs> that was, was twice, dude. Oh, because that the first time oh, I, I pulled oh, it out. Oh, because weird, yeah. 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 180 <laughs> on the strongest you want, man. You want to do it again? Yeah, yeah, I do. Let's do it. <laughs> Bring it. All right, so here's the deal with, with grip strength. So just like anything else, you could obviously uh, train it. Um, and so I would say, here's the number one thing, train it like any other body part. So you have your normal workouts, you hit your chest twice a week, you hit your shoulders twice a week or three days a week, work your grip, uh, two or three days a week. And there's a few very simple exercises you could do. Now you can work on the static strength of your grip, which is just how long you can hold something. And that's quite easy. You can literally stand holding a pair of heavy dumbbells mm. and hold them in uh, either as long as you can, or, maybe five seconds before you think you're going to drop it. That's probably a little better. You don't want to necessarily go to failure. So that's one way you can hold it. But there's also varying degrees of static strength, meaning um, you know, there's a, there's a bar, there's that circumference, mm -hmm. but you also want to build strength on things that are thicker. So what I like to do, sometimes I'll wrap a towel around a bar so that it's a thicker grip. Now I'm holding it. Or I'll pinch grip where I'll hold a plate mm -hmm. just like this with my hands and hold that for grip. So that's for the static strength. What about actual eccentric and concentric strength? Well, you can get yourself a hand gripper to do that, or you could use a barbell or dumbbells where you put it behind your back, you let it roll down you the can fingertips. You get a rice bucket. And then you squeeze it. Or, yeah, I love the rice Which bucket exercise. Which is great. Yeah, you can like push your fingers through, spread them apart. You can grip uh, the you know the rice and, and make balls out of it and squeeze as hard as you can. Um, and it's just one of those underrated exercises. Not a lot of people know. We have that in our OCR program. It's I, awesome. I think it's really interesting to, I mean, unless you had something like OCR. So I'm glad you just actually said that because I was actually going to say it's you know this whole idea of like training grip by itself. I'm less of a fan of it because there's so many exercises that you can do that your your grip strength is going to come up really well. I mean, you doing weighted pull-ups is going to do it. You doing heavy deadlifts is going to do it. You yeah. doing farmer mm -hmm. carries is going to mm -hmm. do it. You using an axle bar for your deadlifts is going to do it. Like these these all those exercises are other great exercises for other parts or, or your the whole body that I think have tremendous value and you're going to get a lot of good grip strength from it. To sit down and do like wrist curl bucket and the only way i'm doing that is if i'm specifically training for right. like ocr where that needs to be at another well level. it's specific too to what you train so you're going to be as strong you're only going to be strong in your grip to what you're constantly doing yeah. right so it's like the novelty of it is cool and all but like for the most part it's it's like you said it's what you do constantly and it's just getting better at your uh, mechanics your performance of that and loading the weight now along those lines i've, I've noticed this quite a bit with clients that i've trained where I, i've done a little bit of work on their grip and on their wrist and because they feel so much stronger and more stable in their hands, more stability. they're stronger on their presses, they're stronger on their rows because they just feel so much stronger in their grip. Even in their presses, even I tell you what, uh, you see some guys do this well, they're, where they're heavy benchers and they're really strong with their bench and because their wrist and their grip isn't strong enough to support it, they'll have wrist wraps yep. that literally go around the wrist and it allows them to bench press more weight. So you would be surprised. Now, you guys are pretty advanced. You guys train a pretty heavy. But you should be surprised the average person, a little bit of grip training, and they notice these tremendous benefits. And really, okay, here's what it boils down to. Our hands connect us to the world. We evolved using our hands a lot with things. If you ever shake the hand of a, of a blue-collar worker, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a different species. People today, we work on computer. We never challenge our hands at all. And mm -hmm. because this connects us to the world, we become super weak. So then they go to the gym, they train their body, and their grip is just strong enough to hold onto the bar and do their exercises. A little bit of grip work for the average person, I think, uh, can can make a pretty big difference. Kung fu grip.